I mean, come on, let's be honest. The Banshee and Mirage Prime Unvaulting Unsealed, I don't know what they are calling this, it seems to change depending what happens. The Prime Vault for Banshee and Mirage Prime that included the Euphorna Prime, Kogaki Prime, Dual Wielding Balto Prime, Helios Prime, with the Deconstructor Prime, the Sandana, the Armor, the accessories and so forth, was never going to be around forever. We all knew this was going to end, and we all knew it was going to end pretty soon. It should have ended a few weeks ago, actually, but it is ending. I believe it's the 27th of April it is going to end, and in its place is going to come Zephyr and Chroma. Pretty sure Chroma has not been in the vault that long. After very, 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 very little research into that one, uh, yeah, Chroma Prime has been in the vault for about nine months. He has not been in there very long at all. That is a very, very quick unvaulting. Whereas Zephyr has been in the vault for little... Mm, over. Actually... It's nearly three years. It was June 2018 and it's April. So closer to three years than it is to two for Zephyr since they were around. Obviously with them will come the Tiberon Prime, the Cronin Prime, the Rubico Prime and the Gram Prime. As well as, well, there's the Sandana for Chroma which is going to be in its own accessory pack obviously that's going to bring the prime sandana and the prime armor and then zephyr's prime accessory kit is basically going to be a gene masking kit for a cavat and that armor suit for your operator it is one of those weapons that returning is going to be a huge thing because when it comes to sniper rifles this thing is up there for Many, 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 many different reasons. The main one being this is one of the main guns you see people, or used to see people running around with taking on Eidolons. But it will be returning. The relics will be returning. You will can, well, you will can, hmm. You can form the relics and save the relics until it's been vaulted because it, the only change here is the relics are returning for these. That's about it. The primes themselves, uh, the more I look at this, the more I miss using this. It was a really good... I just... Compared to the Tiberon, and for the record, I've kind of purposely done this backwards. I'm going to mention this for those who may have already gone to the comments section and mentioned it. The Tiberon will be coming with the Zephyr Prime Pack if you are buying these, whereas Chroma will be the one getting the Rubico Prime and the Gram Prime. The Zephyr Pack will be the Cronin Prime. The Gram Prime, to me, is still better, but it's not... But it is. We'll get onto that one in a second. But yeah, compared to the Tiberon Prime, I think the Rubico Prime kind of wins for these, just hands down. There you go. Much better. I took all the mods off it. It's quick. It has nice crit chance. You kind of want to build it more towards the crit. It has really good status. It does nice damage. It has really good heavy attack this thing dual wielding wise is great in comparison to pretty much any other dual wielding melee weapon hmm definitely better than them but yeah why can't i yeah there it is uh the grand prime is great it is not the best heavy sword but as I say, I will always like the Grand Prime. If anything, comparing any weapons, if the Grand Prime is there, I will always side with it. No matter what happens. Because the opening of the Prime Vault means the relics to obtain. Chroma Prime, the Grand Prime, the Rubico Prime, Zephyr Prime, the Cronin Prime, and... I've completely... Tyberon. I'm looking for it on her and I can't actually see it on her back for the melee weapon. Is that it at the side? No, that's wings. 
The relics for these will be returning to the game. You will be able to get the relics and farm all of these. The only thing you can't farm is the accessories, which is why I'm glad they added the accessory pack. But the sad part to all of this, um, the Prime Vault opens April 27th at 2 p.m. ET on all platforms. Uh, is it there? Zephyr Prime, Chroma Prime Return. It's kind of massively overlooked. Um, I can't even remember. Nope, it's not there either. Mirage Prime, Banshee Prime, the Euphorna Prime. Let's actually jump back to game. The Kogaki Prime, the AK Balto Prime, and Helios Prime, as well as the Deconstructor Prime, which is, of course, Helios Prime's weapon, will be going back into the vault. Not the frames and the weapons on this list, just the relics. The relics for these will no longer drop. This does, of course, finally put to sleep whether or not the rumours about Loki Prime returning are in fact truth or not. I will admit I did play along with that for the longest time, not because I want Loki Prime to return, but because the price of Loki Prime sets in the trading channel have gone quite insane. To be fair, might have been better to release him so we don't end up with another Ember Prime situation going on when Ember Prime's parts were going for an insane amount of platinum. I got well over 900 platinum when I sold mine. Uh, I did get a few more sets, which has never been worth as much. Loki is starting to get to that point, so in the comments section, Zephyr and Chroma, was this a good choice? What do you think? I think so, simply because the Cronin Prime is a really good melee weapon, and the Rubico Prime is an insanely good primary we weapon. Chroma is a good frame, and Zephyr... You see Zephyr a lot. But with that, I think we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.